I painted the Harlequin's Carnival in my studio on the Rue Blomet in Paris. I was hungry and I was trying to capture the hallucinations caused by my hunger. I wasn't painting things I saw in my dreams like the surrealists said you should. I made preliminary sketches of the general layout of the painting so that I'd know just where everything was going to go. Then after having thought about it for a long time, I started painting and making changes as I went along. There are some things in this canvas that I use again in other works. The ladder, which is a ladder for flight, for escape, but also for elevation. The animals and especially the insects have always interested me a great deal. The black circle represents the earth because at that time I was obsessed by a single idea. I've got to conquer the world. The black triangle represents the Eiffel Tower. I was trying to capture the magic side of things. In Miro's workshop, there was a reproduction of the Garden of Earthly Delights by Hieronymus Bosch. The elements of the Harlequin's Carnival may call Bosch's images to mind. The work, The Fight Between Carnival and Lent, by the Flemish painter Peter Bruegel, may also have inspired some of the images in it. The Harlequin's Carnival, with its profusion of figures, objects and signs, represents the culmination of one stage in the poetic painting of Joan Miron. <laughs> 